So, Victoria, I just wanted to real quick say hi. I am so proud of you. You've really done a phenomenal job this whole week. You really helped out here, and you're just you're just an amazing worker and effervescent pile of energy. I'm loving it. So, why I have you here, what I want to talk to you about was your little health journey. Yes. Right? Yes. So, how long have you been raw? Uh, well, it's been off and on five years. Oh, yeah. Well, why off and on? Well, I've spent 34 years eating fast food and junk food. And what did that manifest itself into with your with your health? Well, I was 250 pounds. Sick. Look at her. <laughs> awesome. And uh, I was very sick all the time. And I had lots of mental illness problems, schizophrenia, depression. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Because you know what? You seem so even keeled and lovely, and I've, I've never seen you upset. You're always happy. <laughs> That's just such an amazing transformation. That's so you really think food was at the gist of it? It was food was everything. It was amazing. You know, I would have never thought that food would make that much of a difference, but it changed my life. It really did. Yes. I, I, I know there's many ways. I, I've been talking to you this whole trip, and there's many ways it's changed your life. But if you want to tell everybody out there, what, what do you think of the main components that, that have, have happened with you here? Like you know, in gaining health? Yes. Well, changing my diet. Mm -hmm. Changing to all raw fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. low fat. Uh, I tried going the fat way, and uh, what, what do you what do you mean back. the fat way? Were you vegan? Well, I went. I, I did the raw gourmet, like the nuts ah. and seeds and oh. and cacao, and you know you can you can make cheesecake and pizza and all kinds of stuff with nuts and seeds. That doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> so does that mean that you don't eat nuts and cheese at all? Nuts and seeds. Yeah, uh, cheese. No. <laughs> I don't eat cheese either. Uh, I, I eat, if I do eat, I eat very little, very, very little. Oh, okay. But I not to. So what is your fat quotient you think you take every day? What's your percentage? Uh, well, I, I try to keep it under 10% of my calorie intake. Yep. Um, if I go over that, I seem to have problems. So oh, really? You really, you notice it right away? I do. I notice it right away. Yeah, my mental clarity is gone, and... Um, I'm just sluggish. I don't have the energy. I have to sleep longer. Oh, I can't even imagine that. You have so much energy. <laughs> you really are. So let me ask you something. Uh, when you were here this week, I noticed you mono-eating a couple of days. Yes. And why, why did you choose to do that? Well, I try at home, I, I try not to do too much food combining. If, you study, if, if anybody studies food combining, um, it's much easier on our bodies to digest one food at a time. And um, I had just been combining too many foods at once. And Your system couldn't handle it. I was having digestion problems, having bowel problems, yeah. and uh, I, I knew immediately how to clear it up. I know how to, I know how to make my body better. And did it work? And yeah, it worked great. Oh, yes. Look yeah. at you, you little self-doctoring, <laughs> yes. loving it. Yes, everything's back on track. <laughs> so what meds are you on now? None. No meds. None. What no meds, meds were you on five years ago? I was on an antidepressant called Effexor, mm -hmm. and I took uh, Prilosec, mm -hmm. or supposedly an ulcer that I never had. Okay. Um, Prilosec for an ulcer. Interesting. Yeah. Which uh -huh. is, yeah, misdiagnosed, and um, I actually had my gallbladder removed shortly after that, which was the diagnosis. Um, and that was a catalyst for a lot of health problems, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. That's why I thought. I remember being sick since I was 12. And just constantly, I always felt awful. I would sleep 14, 16 hours a day. I would wake up in the morning and pour a handful of ibuprofen in my hand just to get through the day. And Amazing. Like I would take 8 to 10 ibuprofen at a time just to kill the pain in my body. You must have just been nuts, trying, you know, taking these things, trying to help yourself and, and not getting yeah. the answer and still not feeling better. I was, yeah, I was just trying And gaining to weight? I wanted a magic pill. I thought there had to be a magic pill to make me better. You would think that. And I if, had, you, if you watch TV and the yeah. advertising out there, and every doctor told you so. I never even questioned my diet. All I ate was fast food three times a day, literally. I would go through the drive through three times a day to get you know, my meals. You know, you're not alone. This oh, is the way. This is the way most time. people eat. The, unfortunately, it really manifests itself into some serious health problems for you. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. And everybody I know who eats that way has horrible health problems. Oh, amazing. Um, so, can I, I? I don't think I asked you. What was the trigger? What What was it? I know you sought out health, but was there one thing that brought you to eighty ten ten? Um. Well, it it all started. I was um, laying in bed after my gallbladder surgery, sicker than mm -hmm. before my surgery. The, and the nurse, I kept calling the surgeon's nurse saying, I'm still sick, I'm even worse. And she told me, some people have problems for up to a year after their gallbladder surgery. 
Call back then if you're not feeling better. And <laughs> some, I was like, take out your organ, here. and for a year you may have some problems. Yeah, call I me. Like, I was like, I'm not going to live a year. I'm not going to make it a year. She's not going to get that phone call because I'm, I'm dying. And I saw this infomercial on TV. This guy named Kevin Trudeau had this book called Natural Cures They Don't Tell You About. And, you know, you're saying things on there like you don't, when you have a headache and you, you take an aspirin, what, what does it mean? You have an aspirin deficiency? You know, it's just kind of making sense, the stuff he was saying. And so I got the book. I figured he's probably a big scammer, but I'm dying. So right. what does it matter? Who cares? Yeah, you try anything at that point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I got the book. and he's. You know, I see his, I've seen his infomercials. Yeah, yeah basically yeah. he said, don't eat fast food. Stop eating fast food. Stop eating processed food. And, you know, he was saying you can eat whatever you want. Just make it organic as long as it's not processed or fast food. And so I, I tried that. I started doing that. Just like cooking some organic spaghetti or, you know, making my own food. I had my boyfriend at the time making it because I couldn't even get out of bed. Yeah. And um, I started to feel better a little bit, just a tiny bit. But it was enough to get me thinking, well, maybe it is the food. Maybe it really is. And, I, you know, I had this naive concept of if the food's really bad for you, they're not going to let, let people serve it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would yeah, think, right? Me up. The government yeah. wouldn't allow that. Doctors yeah. wouldn't allow yeah, that. They're out to protect us. Yeah. When, when really they're not. But. Well, so until you took a hold of your own health regime yeah. and sought out the information on your own was when you finally right. found health. Right. And then well, I, yeah. And then I, I came across an article a few weeks after I was trying the organic stuff. And there's this tiny little article about this big in this local magazine called Sprout. It talked about raw foods, living enzymes, and... So I thought, well, maybe that's what I need. Wow. So I ate all fruits and vegetables. For one day, I woke up the next morning feeling better than I ever remember feeling in my life. And I wow. was just like, I didn't know people could feel this good. Wow. And um, so. Nature provides all, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I want to thank you so much. It's been lovely to meet you. It's actually it's been more than lovely. It's, it's been, been amazing to meet you. It's been fantastic to meet you, Drew. Yeah, I love you, girl. I love you, too. All right, so next year. Okay. We're back at it. No, actually, we'll see each other at Woodstock, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Woodstock. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.